I'm so excited for today. Today's Goodwill day. So we are going to be hitting up a couple Goodwills and this is one of my favorite days of the week because I love just hitting the road and seeing what treasures are out there to be found. For those of you who are new here, my name is Laura and I'm a full-time vintage reseller. I have an online shop, leftcoastrevivals.com and I go treasure hunting all over the country, sometimes all over the world. And I look for vintage and secondhand finds that I think need a new home and deserve to be loved again, keeping these treasures out out of the landfills. So today we're gonna hit some Goodwills and we're gonna see what we can find. This is a Japanese ginger jar and typically they have a little lid on them. It looks like this one doesn't have the lid here with it. It is $3.99. I think it's still worth the investment and either way I think it's gonna make a beautiful little vase. It's so funny how trends come and go. I've been seeing a lot more glass vases that have been painted and altered here in thrift stores. This one has like a really thick, heavy texture that was added to it. This marble bookend was tempting even though it wasn't vintage. I might have got it if there were two of them. No way. No way. This is so funny. I can't believe that I just found this. I'm going to show you guys in the car why I'm so excited that I just found this little bowl with the lion heads on it. This is a beautiful solid wood lamp. It's $6.99 and it's in really good condition. It doesn't even really need an oiling. I have several lampshades I think might work with this one. You know I love 1970s fringe and I love beaded curtains. This is only $7.99 but it does look like it has a lot of broken pieces and I have three of these that I'm still currently trying to sell. So I'm not gonna grab it but I do love a good beaded curtain. I've not had the best luck finding vintage art at Goodwills lately, but I do really like this piece and it's only $1.99, so we're gonna get this one for sure. Does anyone know where you can get your photos framed just like this? This was really popular to do with your photographs back in the day. It's such a beautiful way to display your photography. I would really like to do this with some of my European photos. So if anybody knows anyone who can do this currently, please let me know in the comments below. Looks like vintage art is actually gonna end up being my theme of the day today. We are gonna grab this beautiful folk art carving. And we are getting this guy for sure. This one is only $4.99. And I even found a few little soup spoons for this bowl. This beautiful Japanese piece is a ginger jar. Unfortunately, it did not have the lid with it, but I think this is such a pretty piece. It's got the beautiful blue flowers, the hand-painted gold on it, and I think that this will make a great vase. Here is the little stamp there on the bottom. If it would have had the lid, these ginger jars typically sell, I think, around $20 to $30. I paid $3.99 for it, and even though it didn't have the lid, I think it's gonna make a beautiful vase. It is just 
just so pretty and you know I love blue. How many of you watched my adventures in Paris? If you did, you probably remember that I went on a mission to find French onion soup. We ended up getting our French onion soup delivered to us in a lion bowl that looked just like this. And I was sad since we were packing all of our treasures in our luggage that I couldn't find a set there to buy at a store and bring home with me. Well, little did I know that I was destined to find one in Goodwill for only $1.99. Now there's only one soup bowl, but that's okay because the other thing about that French onion soup is it was very, very rich. So I think I'm gonna have to try to make it here at home. It probably won't be as good as in France, but I'm gonna try it anyways. And I'll just have to share with Jesse. This vintage lamp is made out of a solid piece of hand turned wood. I thought the shape on it was really simple and classic. And I have a really fun vintage brass lampshade that's kind of in a cone shape. I got it at Goodwill also, of course. And I think it might work really well with this lamp to try to modernize it a little bit. So I'm going to see if that will fit on here. This was $6.99, which for a handmade vintage piece is a really good price. This is really heavy. This is probably like six pounds at least. So it's a nice solid piece of wood and it's got this beautiful light color with a nice grain to it. I think the brass lampshade's a little bit too small unless I try it with a shorter light bulb. I have one of these little tiny light bulbs and when I have it on the little light bulb it does lower it down and it fits better. This guy's burned out so I will have to order another one. See I'm thinking that if I get a shorter light bulb it's gonna work. I think it looks really good like this. It's amazing how just changing a lampshade can make something much more modern. So this, along with the majority of the items here that I got today, are going to be coming to my online vintage sale. This was only $3.99 and it's a beautiful folk art Native American eagle. And it's already got the hanger there on the back. So it's just ready to go maybe into a gallery wall. I think this would be beautiful in a gallery wall. If you are a bird lover, I think this would be stunning. This is actually going to be a hard one to sell because, you know, I love gallery walls and I love birds. Obviously, I've got them tattooed on me. In the past, when I've done a lot of gallery walls, I always look for frosted glass. I love the look of the matte finish on the frosted glass. I feel like it just looks so pretty with art in there. And I loved this little piece. I'm not sure what's going on here. You've got a beautiful landscape with the feather up there. These look like Joshua trees. I tried Googling it in the thrift store, but I didn't find anything on it. So if you know anything about this piece, please let me know in the comments below. I thought it was just really simple and really beautiful. And it has a nice mat and a beautiful little simple solid wood frame. This was only $1.99. This is the other folk art Pacific Northwest native style art piece that I found. This one was only $4.99. I wish it was signed by the artist. It's a lot easier to look up information online when the artist signs it. But this also could have been done by a woodworking hobbyist. Another thing that I love to incorporate into gallery walls, photography pieces. I find them from time to time. Typically, I don't find them at thrift stores. It's usually at an estate sale or sometimes even garage sales. I especially love this one with Buddha on it. These are in really wonderful condition and I think that they would make a great addition to a gallery wall. I want to take a moment to thank Casetify for sponsoring today's video. I've been filming this YouTube channel for years, primarily with iPhones. And that's a secret that I don't tell a lot of people. Between grabbing vintage and throwing it in my cart, whipping out my phone to check the value of a vintage item, and having my phone in my hand all day while I'm filming my vlogs, it is super important to keep that safe. So having a Casetify case on my phone gives me a lot of peace of mind because let's face it, I am pretty clumsy. Their Chi Tech 2.0 technology is drop test approved for drops up to 9.8 feet. No joke, I'm even going to be doing a test for you today. They feature a lifted camera ring and a raised front bevel for all angle protection too. Casetify's new impact and ultra impact cases are made of 65% recycled and plant-based materials. They are also compatible with 5G and wireless charging. They come in tons of designs so you can pick your favorite color or print or match your phone or style to fit your mood. I had fun making some custom Left Coast Revivals cases. Casetify's cases are 100% non-toxic and non-hazardous. They also feature an antimicrobial coating that keeps your case germ-free 
killing 99% of bacteria. Go to casetify.com slash left coast to save 15% off your order. We found some great pieces today, but I have to tell you a funny story about the other day when I went to Vancouver, Washington to go thrifting and to meet up with a friend. After I met up with my friend, I was getting ready to leave and I realized I had forgotten my wallet. She happened to have $120 cash on her. So I Venmoed her $130. I figured I had to kick her something for giving me all of her cash so that I could go thrifting. And it ended up being kind of fun. I typically set a budget for myself each month for how much money I'm gonna spend on secondhand treasures. I don't typically go out each day with a budget. So it was kind of fun having that $120 cash like back in the day or like when you go to a flea market and I knew that is all that I could spend. And I tried to make that $120 stretch as far as I could while still getting cool pieces. I have an upcoming flea market event and I'm looking for some really fun, colorful bohemian clothes for a couple of my dress forms. The fun colors and pattern on this little vintage top would be perfect to mix and match with a fun purse and skirt. It is $6.99 and it looks to be in really good condition. Here is another really fun vintage top. This one is also $6.99. At the moment, I'm kind of into vintage blouses and these always look so beautiful on the dress forms once they're styled up. I know what this beauty is. This is a giant Royal Hager vase. It's not something that I would ship because it's so large and these pieces can be so fragile. It's only $14.99 and I know these do sell online for quite a bit. So we're gonna grab that and take that to the market. These vintage stoneware vases always sell really well, but because I already have a couple of them that I'm planning to take to the market with me, and we're on a budget today with our $120, I'm gonna pass on this one. This is interesting. I actually thought that this was a Blanco Owl vase and the stamp on the bottom shows that it's newer. So that is really good to know because I really did think that this was Blanco. I've seen it attributed to that online several times. And unfortunately, I think I've even sold one in the past as one. And this is why it's so important to get out and broaden your knowledge of vintage because, oh my goodness, there's so much to learn. Okay, a lot of you are gonna be super weirded out why I just picked this up, but hear me out, hear me out. I'm not sure what's going on in my mind right now, but I think that this might look really beautiful in the green vase. I kind of am digging this. I think this could be a beautiful display for the flea market. I think I'm gonna get it. One of my favorite things to do at flea markets is to do an actual full setup. So to try to create a room so that people can really visualize how these pieces can be used in their home. I think that this lamp would look really beautiful with this cream lampshade that I have at home. And the colors with the flower sculpture look so good together. I'm kind of tempted to buy this candle for this little setup. I like the fact that it's kind of a disc round shape, but I just can't do it. It's just not quite right.
but this brass vase would look great with the setup. It's good to have some contrasting metals with pottery and texture. It does have a few dents in it, but I think that that's okay because it gives it that vintage charm. I call it age to perfection. This is not a vintage piece of art, but it would be so fun to find a vintage watercolor one because I would love to go for a bohemian summer vibe. I just noticed that the lamp is broken, so that's going back. That's too bad. I really liked the color on this. This is not gonna help my $120 budget at all, but I love London Fog trench coats. This one is in perfect condition and I tried it on and it fit perfect, so I have to do it. If I was not on a budget today, I would be grabbing these goblets. So I'm a little bit bummed, but I do have a lot of glassware sets at home right now that are going in my next sale. So I'm gonna pass on them today. But if I didn't have a budget of $120, I would be grabbing them. This little pineapple would be fun for our tiki party, but it's got a broken glass top on it. I've only got $27 left out of my 120 bucks, so we'll see how far this goes here at retails. So hopefully we can find something really sweet for 27 bucks. Gotta check out the sales. I could get a whole bunch of pairs of pants or jeans or skirts or shorts for only $1.99. If you've followed for a while, you know Retail's Thrift Store is one of my very favorite thrift stores. It's such a good cause. This is the Humane Society Thrift Store in Vancouver, Washington. And even though I've been sharing that this is one of my favorite honey holes, and I know a lot more people have been going here, I still always find good things. So if you've reached out to me in the past and asked, what is my favorite thrift store? This is probably it. This is an interesting piece because it looks like it's supposed to be a lamp. It has a signature on the bottom. It is handmade and it's only $4.99, but I do not need more project pieces. Okay, I already take back what I just said because I think that I can rework this vintage tie holder to be a fun necklace holder and it's only $1.99. I feel like every time I come here, I always find a vintage pewter vase. I like this one and it is $3.99. It's not in perfect condition, but I think I can clean it up. Neutral pottery always sells really well. This has great color and great shape. It's $9.99 though, but I really like it. So we're gonna get it.
pleated lampshades are all the rage right now and I have so many lamps I'm bringing to my flea market. This is $3.99 and even though it's not in the cone shape, I think it's gonna look really good with some of the lamps I have. I think I'm gonna put back the tie spinner, even though it's only $1.99. I really don't need any project pieces. All right, we are down to $8. This might be a bad decision because what if I find things that I can't buy? It's gonna be torture, but we're gonna do it anyways. Maybe we'll find a Potosi for $4.99. All right, we have just walked in the door and this is already difficult. For $6.99, I could get this piece of pottery with a cool face on it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep walking and then we're gonna come back. I probably should have gotten a cart because then at least I could have put everything in the cart and then made my decision. much of a plate person and I never dig through the piles but every once in a while a plate catches my eye if it's sitting on top. This one is kind of fun. This is a Mikasa candle holder and I've sold a pair of these in the past for around 40 or 50 dollars. There is another one over here. They're $2.99. If they were a color, I would probably be grabbing them with my $8, but I do find the clear ones the most often, so we're gonna pass on them. We're gonna keep looking. I collect the Costa Boda Snowball candle holders for Christmas, but this one has a seam here in the center, so I do not think it is an authentic one. Here's more pleated lampshades. Oh my gosh, this color is so good. Those would look amazing on different lamps. We're walking away. They come with the lamps and we don't have the money for them today. Look at this little adorable bunny basket. That'd be so cute for Easter. He's $2.99. What else we got over here? Little picnic basket. This is $4.99. That would be fun for summer. I'm excited for some picnics this summer. Baskets sell really well at flea markets, by the way. That's why I'm looking at baskets today. Okay, this is officially difficult. I'd grab that. It's $9.99. Can't afford it today. Part of me is tempted to drive home and get money, but then a part of me is not because Portland traffic is not fun. Ever since we moved to our new home, I have just become obsessed with squirrels. Well, I already was obsessed with squirrels, but I'm even more obsessed with squirrels. We love our squirrels at our new house. These are so outrageous that I actually think they're cute. I don't know why. I just think they're really adorable with the little squirrels, a little cream and sugar dish set. Now hear me out on these. I know that this is not my typical style, but I know that these are designer and they are valuable and they are very popular right now. They are $4.99 each though, and I only have $8 on me. But I think that these might be worth going to the car and looking for some change because they are in perfect condition and I think this is gonna be the winner today. 
They were $4.99 each, but I will tell you the little story about how I ended up getting these. I walked into Goodwill with only $8. I found these on the shelf, and even though I put back several other items that I was thinking about getting, I knew they were designer, and I knew that this set was worth probably $75 to $80. So what I did was I went to the register, I asked one of the sweet ladies if she could hold them for me so I could go to the car to look for more money. I came to my car on the hunt for $2. I found $1.25 in the door handle, so I only needed 75 more cents. So I stooped to the level of looking underneath the seats in my car. So we clean our car pretty regularly, but apparently we hadn't done a good job of detailing underneath the seats. And you know how I know we hadn't done it in months? Because look what I found. I found my favorite wolf ring that I have been missing since Montana last summer. That's a year ago. I've been missing this for a year and it was tucked underneath this little tiny ledge underneath the seat along with a quarter. So now I've got a buck 50. I dug through every single spot in the car. I ended up with $2 and 12 cents was my final tally. I marched back in that store and I got my vintage pieces and it was a good day. This is a Royal Hager piece and I have seen these before in different colors, but I've never seen this big green one before. It was $14.99, but that's still a really good price. These sell online anywhere from probably about $50 to $75. Although shipping something this big and fragile is not always fun, but I have an upcoming flea market event and I think I'm gonna bring this, which is also why I bought the weird metal flower sculpture. It is not something I would normally pick up. I don't even know if this is vintage. I don't know why I liked it. For some reason, I'm in a weird mood today. Maybe it was because it matched my outfit. I'm not quite sure, but I thought that this could be fun if I went ahead and put it inside the large green vase at the flea market. Sometimes it's kind of fun to have that nature feeling and flower flowers without it being fresh flowers and I just thought that these were kind of pretty. Not something I would normally pick up but I just felt like it today. Why not? Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and going Goodwill shopping. Next up we are getting back to the 30-day trip in Europe and we are kicking off Italy in Venice and we are even going to meet up with my parents there. I can tell you right now since I'm already home and it already happened it was amazing. Italy was the highlight of the entire European adventure and I can't wait to share that with you. I will see you guys in Venice.